It's your first day at Publix. You don't know what to expect. You're super nervous. And I got you. I got you. I'm going to tell you what you're going to expect. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Patricia. On this channel, I love to do videos related to work just so that I can help others find jobs and let them know what to expect when working at some of these jobs. I like to keep my channel diverse. I like to drop a lot of different content. So if you're new here and haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below if you're interested at working at Publix. Obviously from the title, you guys can tell I'm bringing back another Publix video. I've seen how helpful these have been to so many people and all like the great news that I've been receiving. So many people have been telling me that they've been getting hired after seeing some of my videos. So obviously I had to, you know, come back and bring another one. I will be dropping a lot more videos related to Publix. I mean, there's just so many things to cover and a lot of things that people don't even know about. So I want to make sure to put that knowledge out there for everybody. And so that way people know what they're getting themselves into or for people who are already in the company know what they're entitled to i have a specific playlist so if you're only here for my Publix videos i got you and with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get started in today's video i'm going to be covering what to expect your first day as a bagger i think i might do like a sequel to this as in like what to expect your first day as being a cashier being a customer service associate etc etc but these tips will work just for about any position simply because they're kind of like broader tips so if you're interested to know what to expect your first day as a bagger just keep on watching so it's your first day as a Publix bagger you get to work where do you go the first place you're gonna go is the break room in the break room there's this pin pad and that's what you're gonna use to punch in you always want to punch in and punch out of your shift just so that the system tracks your hours tracks your money all that if you're working off the clock or like it's not registered that you're in the system because obviously they're not going to register that you're in the system if you don't pin it in then it's going to be a little bit more messy your money's going to get messy it's not going to be like the ideal situation so make sure you punch it now if it's your first day you might not know you're punching which is totally fine go ahead and find a manager because a manager is the only person who's going to have access to your pin and let them know that you know you're here it's your first day and that you need to know your pin in order to punch in if you already know it you don't need to get a manager you could go ahead and go straight to the break room, punch in, and get started on your shift. Always try to arrive like a few minutes before your shift starts just in case something were to go wrong. So now where do you go once you punch in? You're gonna go ahead and come out of the break room, go straight to the customer service counter. On the counter, there's a schedule. For the most part, the customer service associates are going to know that it's your first day. They know when people are new, they know what to expect, stuff like that. So don't feel threatened, don't feel intimidated, don't feel any type of way. When you get to the customer service desk, make sure you say hi to all the girls or all the guys, whoever's working there, and let them know if you want that you're new. They probably most likely already know, but you could go ahead and introduce yourself if you'd like. If you wanna ask them like, hey, do you want me to do anything in specific? They'll probably tell you no, just go back. Simply because there's always less baggers than cashiers. So don't be so nervous. A lot of people get super nervous. Obviously, it's your first day. A lot of people at Publix are friendly. And we're kind of like known for that. And, you know, there's going to be always like that one person anywhere you go. But don't let that stuff get to you. You're just there to do your work. And a lot of these other people have that same mindset. So no one really, really like gets into it with anybody like that. Stop stressing. You're going to do fine. You're going to get in there. People are most likely going to be nice to you. Or like there's always going to be like that maybe one person who isn't as nice. But just don't pay attention to that one person. You know, just, just keep it moving. Keep it going. I got y'all. Get your money and then get out of there. Of course, you're going to make friends. Of course, there's going to be a lot of other positive stuff besides just, you know, work. But that's like the main thing. So don't go in there with like ulterior motives you know you're just in there to do a job so don't be stressing that something else is going to happen because we all have the same mindset we're all just trying to get our money we're all just trying to go home find that one person who you know is sweet to you don't get with the wrong crowd and you'll be fine if you're a bagger just go ahead start bagging go on any register preferably what they call a big register big registers are the ones that are not express so some stores have two three express lines which is usually like an orange it has an orange sign on it and it says it's 10 items or less for the most part, try not to bag on those registers simply because in the manager's mindset, it's like, what, why does a person who's only buying two, three items need a bagger? So try to bag for, for the bigger registers, you know, the ones that are just like the regular white signs and, you know, bag people's groceries. I'm also going to dedicate a separate video on how to bag because managers are extremely picky on that. 
bag the cold with the cold, bag the hot with the hot. Try to fill up the bags a little bit. Managers don't like to see empty bags. Try not to put just like one item in a bag unless of course that's what the customer asks you to do. Try to keep those bags kind of full and put them in people's carts and then you ask them if they need help outside. If it's dead, cashiers usually have to stand in front of the registers, but the baggers don't necessarily, or the baggers almost never have to stand with the cashiers in front of the registers. If there's no customers, the bagger is supposed to go outside or supposed to do something else. The bagger is not just supposed to be like lingering around. So like I said, if there's no customers, go ahead and go outside and get cards. It doesn't have to be a manager who you tell that you're going to go get cards. You can literally just tell one of the customer service staff. That way, if a manager does call for you, one of the girls up in the customer service desk will be able to say like, oh, so-and-so is outside getting cards. So we'll know because sometimes the managers aren't in the office or they're not around. Sometimes they're like in the back doing some stuff and then they walk to the front and they'll ask the people in customer service like, oh, where's so-and-so? So just make sure you let one of the customer service staff know where you are or where you're going to be and you should be good. Like I said, if there's no customers, baggers go outside. If there are customers, bag inside and bag for the big registers. And as you work there, you're going to see that a lot of other stuff that baggers tend to do baggers do have to do store sweeps they do have to you know check the bathroom stuff like that so eventually they're gonna tell you you know like like hey if it's not busy go ahead and do a store sweep do that but on your first day that's not what's gonna happen for the most part mostly you're just gonna be like bagging or if not going outside and getting carts obviously once you finish with your shift you're gonna go ahead and go back to the break room punch out and then you can leave you might have a break between your shift you know if you're working from 1 p.m to 6 p.m you might have a break from like 3 to 3 30 all that needs to be documented so when you start your break make sure you go to the break room you're gonna hit the start meal button then you can go on your break do whatever you need to do eat your stuff and then once your break finishes at 2 30 or 3 30 whatever time you're gonna go back into the break room and punch in that you're back from break the buttons are in start meal end meal out those are the four buttons, that's how they're read. So obviously when you get there, you're gonna hit the in button, put your code and then hit enter. If you're starting the meal, you hit the start meal button, you put your code in, you hit enter and etc. I just wanna put that out there. On your break, as a bagger or as any type of associate, you are entitled to go wherever you want. So on your break, if you wanna go to your car, you can go ahead and do that or you can stay in the break room, whatever it is that you wanna do. If it's your first day and you feel a little bit more comfortable, in your car that's fine if you stay in the break room that's also okay people are nice you can talk to people or you can just mind your business like i said people are just there to get their money people are just there you know to to eat their lunch in the break room stuff like that like it's not a big deal if you if you do end up deciding to eat your lunch in the break room because you know hey not everybody has a car welcome to the company it's a great company feel lucky that you're there and just and just put your best foot forward that's all i can really tell you to so put your best foot forward this step is obviously optional you don't have to let them know that you're leaving but i would highly recommend that you let them know that you're leaving just so that the managers are aware so that the managers kind of like start recognizing who you are and it shows interest in your job which means that they'll probably give you more hours that's the number one mistake a lot of people's commit is that they think that once they're in the company they're gonna get all these hours and that they can do whatever they want if you behave bad or you don't work well the managers yeah they can't technically fire you if you're not doing anything wrong but if they're not liking the way that you're working and you're not putting any effort to better it what they can do is cut your hours and you can be working as little as you can be working honestly as little as zero hours a week and it's happened before so don't let that stuff oh yeah you know that's what they say but they won't do it they will do it so make sure that you know you want to keep your name good you want to be on a clean page with the manager stuff like that so go ahead and let at least somebody know that you're gonna leave and then you can go ahead and punch out and you can go and when i do let a manager know that i'm about to leave i do like to say hey do you need anything else simply just to like let them know that i am you know trying to be helpful trying to you know show my public spirit whatever it is that it may be so yeah if you guys want to do that you know that's just like a little like extra like brownie tip so make sure you guys do that and after that you can go home whatever and go about your day about your life all that stuff and like always if you guys have any type of questions my social media is always in the description box feel free to message me dm me snapchat me whatever it is that you guys want to do or simply comment under this video and i will respond i try to respond to every single comment i get especially when it's related to something about work you get paid every week with that being said i'm just going to conclude this video i think i covered all the bases for what a bagger should expect the first day that they go work at Publix. if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel make sure you stay in tune i'm going to be dropping a what, what to expect on your first day at Publix as a cashier make sure you watch that one as well simply because if you're a bagger you're eventually gonna get promoted to a cashier so i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye